Now we are going to discuss about how we create the org structure. So this is a T code that you will be using to create an org structure, which is PPOCE. So this is very important and we'll see it in details about in, in the system. Then there's another structure that if you notice here, this is the org structure, B, A, B, C, and this is the person who is the manager. So when you have a hat of red, so that means he's the manager. The others, this org structure reports, this company reports to this org structure. We'll show you in details about what it is. Okay. So this is create org structure T code. The next one is to display the org structure because lots of time you will not have the authorization to create org structure. You can display it. If there's some sensitive information like with the GDP PR process where you know there's sensitivity on the privacy information, uh, uh, SAP has to adhere to it. So uh, authorization will be a very important thing that the SAP security team will need to adhere to it. Okay. So then the next one is PPOSW. As I said, workflow is heavily the agent part is heavily dependent on SAP HR because they send a you to a user ID. So most of the time, the user ID is associated with the position, with a pers personal number and a position. And then the position reports back to the argument. So these are very important. So we, so what SAP did, they created a separate transaction for workflow, so which we will discuss. And then you have this another one, PPOS underscore old. This is old, but it is it has some stuff. We'll discuss all these things in details in the system now. And then you have this one PPOS underscore old. You had you can you can see this stuff. You can see the organization plan and other stuff. Then you have this or org display attributes. So where you can see the attributes of different uh, different org units. So we will again discuss these things. So these are very important transactions that we are going to cover in the system. So let's let's not waste time and we just log into the system and we'll see how it will work. Okay, so we log into the system and let me do one thing. This is already logged out, which is good. Okay, so we'll log in. This is my user ID password. You don't need to do if you have single sign on. Okay, so here I am, I'm in the system. Okay, it opens up. Okay, so now what we are going to do is this is the transaction. First, we will discuss PPOC. So here, if you see, it's open. So it says create organization or create organization and staffing. So from here, first you have to give the root or object. Okay since we are creating a root object what we are going to do so by default it picks up today's date till 99999 I, I don't believe SAP will be there for around 99999 because I, I may be wrong but we will not be there for sure okay so here by default it's like this but you can change it uh, generally it's always default because no one knows uh, so here we just click create okay once we click create and here so what you can do now here you can put a name okay so organization unit you can say so suppose the company name is suppose uh, what company name we can say now we can say the company name is uh, is Argadip's company okay so it's Argadip and the IT uh, future uh, suppose this is the IT future uh, HR company so we have created this if you see click uh, create it click and you see this is the argument so here you can see these things are there and now what we are going to do is we are going to create a assignment okay so first here from here you can click on all these buttons but we will just click the assignment okay so let's see so here we'll click the assignment no object was chosen first you have to choose this sorry so we click here 
so again this is a very good thing I made a mistake and you will also make this mistake so you have to click on it and then you click on this okay now here is you can say you can put another argument or you can put a position okay let's put uh, first we'll put another argument so this is the CEO of the this is the CEO um, argument so what we can do is suppose we put finance okay and we can put let's see can we add multiple stuff we can put uh, finance we can put sales we can put operation we can put this so now let's click create so let's see whether it creates so if you see now we have four argument under this okay so this is perfect for us now what we did is now here we can if you see we can add account assignment so here is the account assignment you can put an account assignment so you can put a master cost center so you put a master cost center here okay so just put we're just searching uh, we don't have anything but let's see let's see let's pick one So it's trying to save now there can be issues with the controlling area but we'll see so it's saving it's circling so but uh, here in the meantime you can see we could assign multiple org unit at one go so well you can assign multiple position at one go okay so so that's very useful and here if you see this also has a as a date so here it's unlimited but if you want to put a date like uh, oh this should be assigned till the next year or till the next decade it's up to you you know you can always change it but you cannot think you cannot do things in the past otherwise you know the audit goes anywhere so that's very important so let's see this is this is uh, this is running for some time so in the meantime can I do something I can create a new session <coughs> and go to PPO and see and we'll try to see whether our argument is this is the old one um, that we had it okay it's so searching so so what we do find my argument search term and we're not fine because probably it didn't get saved here so let's see okay this is this is slow so let's do one thing mm. let me turn this stop this now. it's taking forever okay let me create a new session and we'll do the same thing probably we will do it in a different way so what we'll do we'll go to pPOC okay now we create a new one this start structure we created okay now what we are going to do is we are going to change it then we'll put Kagadeep and we'll put the company in a IT future HR company will save it okay so now let's close this too many sessions this one is too many okay the data has been saved very important now we are going to add some uh, the org unit so let's see we can if you want here we can select this org unit hmm. so so what we will do is uh, let's not uh, yeah let's add 
another arc in it. All the arc units we want. And now, here, we click enter. And now, we'll get the list. Okay, so we put finance, we put uh, marketing, and we'll put bank account, we'll put cash. Uh, let's put a bunch. Uh, we can put sales, we can put the plant, you can put some purchase organization, uh, you can put operations, that's what you need. Okay, now what we got, we got, okay, cannot be assigned to object in the period okay uh, so they're saying these have different periods if you think that's why it's giving errors okay so now here if you see this one you can always click on this okay so if I click on this it has some managers and all those things now here if I go here and if I click on this delimit uh, assignment here I can delimit okay delimit date turn and all those things we can do okay so if you say delimit date we'll put suppose probably in the future we will put uh, 20 29 okay so or 2090 sorry so was delimited so here if you see this is the delimited so this is assigned until this so this is the button to do the delimitation okay now here you see some have drop down some doesn't have so here you see there is another org unit assigned here you can see there's a bunch of users assigned okay bunch of positions assigned and all those things now after this here you have different let's go to this position and here you can see you have different account assignment so here you will put the cost center I'm not putting a cost center because there's some issues with the cost center configuration here now here you can see the org data okay so here you can see this is the org data this is the number and here this is the different address here you can put the address so here we'll put the address as this is the suppose this is the address 111 uh, Manhattan and uh, we'll put the city is suppose New York, okay. New York City, and the country is US. Uh, the re uh, the region is suppose NY, and I save it, okay. And so I have the address created, okay. And here you can see select the cost distribution, the cost center, and all those things. These are very important stuff, which you can do. And then you have different work schedules. Okay, here you can different the work schedules group. Okay, so here you can see what are the hourly paid employees, salaried employees, and all those things you can do. Then you have quota planning. Okay, so quota planning is something. Um, it's something related with where you can get. Let me see. I, you, you don't have drop down. So it it's something related with. Uh, it current so then you have budget planning then you have let me see you can put budgets here and let me see how many things are there then you have tasks okay so you can create task assignment and all those things so these are pretty useful stuff now what we'll do is we'll create some position assigned okay so here we will see we will put incorporate and we'll put enter and we'll try to add some positions okay so here we see ceo we have a cfo no we'll put ceo here we'll just only put ceo here okay so now we'll see the ceo will come here this is the ceo so how we can make it as a as the chief so you, in order to make a person chief you go here and here you can say he is a 
staffing and he can men mention him as the chief okay so staffing status and if I click on function f1 indicator for staff position apply a staff to position to an organ okay staffing status right. you can see position chief of executive officer right. let me see this one this has a hat head of the owner so yeah <clears throat> so for some reason this doesn't have this flag set up so that's that's a problem let's do one thing we'll create and we'll put a, a different position and we'll see probably he's assigned to something so I'll do uh, head of department this person the chief okay so head of our unit and here this person is is there not assigned okay and it is a chief of our unit so we click on this What we can do is probably we can use this guy here. Can I add this guy here? 139. Let's see. So that would be. So for some reason, I cannot change this person. So this this has a person already. So he has a qualification. And why I cannot change it? as a hit of the argument you can see see save it your data has been saved so it doesn't have uh, okay so this is this is this is okay now here if we see this person I'll add another organ another position here and we'll show you what is it different so we'll see here we'll put the vice president here and here if i go here uh, you have the vice president here so here if i click on the head on phone and i save it now okay now if I click on this, it doesn't have, but this have, so job, what's the difference between this and this, okay, let's make it safe, here we'll save it, now what we are going to do is you click here, and we did the vacancy open, mm, this is the, okay, probably this is the trick, we don't put staff, uh, okay, Put this save okay so here so for some reason we cannot set this one chief org unit uh, so here but we have a manager set so whenever you set it up as a manager you have this you have this thing as a hat okay with a hat so he's the chief of the org unit now here if you double click on this we will make this person as the head of this argument okay and we'll see now you might say what you are doing here uh, we'll show you what we actually doing we we'll make this head as the org unit also of this and now what we are going to do we'll try to click on activate and we'll click on this and we'll see we'll try another time to make someone chief okay so let's see who is the guy who can be the chief senior manager probably never know okay senior manager you see this we did it so we made it he's the head of the argument okay so now now you might say what we are doing we'll show you so what happens is all these people and here we will assign some people so because and you can assign different org units so if you see it's here it's all 
it's only one level up, right? See, you see. So you have this you have this um, main org unit, and this reports. And all these org unit reports to this. So what we are going to do will not keep some org unit empty. We'll add some positions. We'll just pick some random positions and we'll see how it works. Okay. This position here. Okay. So this person is a manager also. And we'll put, oops, I clicked the wrong one. Okay. Here, this bank account. And we'll put this one. Mm, let's see, click on this. Now uh, we can pick a bunch. Make it pretty. So here we have all these persons, and one of these, this one, will make him as a match. Mm. So now, once this is changed, whenever I make this head of org unit, you see these changes. Okay. Now here. You can see the other stuffs are there. There is the account assignment. You have addresses. You have the cost distribution. Okay, the work schedule. And what is this? IT1653. Something related with budget chapter. And you can assign different tasks to it. Okay. So this is what is now what we show is we created this wonderful thing. Now we will see what we just did with the chief of the argument. Okay. Now we are going to go to a particular transaction, PFAC underscore DIS. This is a standard transaction that is used and SAP has created a bunch of these standard code that will tell you who reports to whom. So here, what you have to do is if you see, it's superior chief position. So what we will be doing here, we'll be populating here where just Notice it. We'll put populate this position five bunch of zeros three eighty one. Okay, we'll put five bunch of zeros and we'll put three eighty one and we we'll put the org type is S for position and you see it reports to this manager three seventy seven. Now what we are going to do is we are going to copy this and we are going to populate this. And now it reports to 139. You see, it's going up the chain, up the chain. That's very important. Now we'll just try to do for something like, suppose, we'll do for 353. If you notice, 353 is here for cash. And we'll just do this for 353. And it would be the same person, 139, you see, is reporting to the CEO of this. Now we can see this one, 359. Let's put 359. Let's, let's change it now. A little uh, so so let's find this one 387 okay so so the number below changes so we put 387 and you see 384 it reports to 384 it's finding the position the, the the superior okay now what happens is basically if there's no superior here it goes up the chain and finds the superior in the top you have to understand that fact. So if I go 384, and here, if you see, it goes to here. Now what we can do, we can see some here. The same thing. You have a bunch of this. I want to see some. See this one, 368. It doesn't have any chief. That's why the chief will show as 139. Okay, so we put 368. Okay, and you see. It comes as 139. So this is what is org structure. This is the chief chief uh, mess, mess, message where you have to mention, you have to maintain the chief of the org structure, and then you have the reporting structure already created. This is very important. Once you understand this process, it's your life is much easier. Okay. But if you don't understand, it becomes difficult. So now next question is: can you put uh, multiple chief position. I think you can put. Let's see whether we can do something like that or not. Oh. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you can put multiple chief 
arc structure also. So if you see now what will happen. Now you might say, why you want multiple chief? Yeah, you work for a company and one person is responsible for your, uh, as a people manager, another person is a project manager. So one may be <laughs> approving your time, the other may be uh, doing your appraisal. It may sound crazy, but it all, it happens all the time. So if I put 379, so let's put 379. I go here and I put 379 here. And I put S. Okay, now I open here. I bring it here. You see, it has two now. 377, 378. So you can do whatever you want. You know, it's very, it's very, very nice. And you know, and here, if at some point, I think uh, you can mention the percentage. You see the stuff. If you click, you can create the percentage of the assignment and all those things. So lots of times when I gave you an example where a certain position is uh, is held by multiple users with the different levels. Let's do that thing also. So we'll be assigning a particular, so we'll be assigning a holder, okay? So a holder can be, so business partners is important in S4 HANA. It's very important. Now, this is an S4 HANA system, but I'll show with the person. So generally it's a person we put, okay, so we'll put some person ID. We don't have much, but still. Let's see. Now here, if you see, we can say action, transfer, you say, we can put this. Now we have this person, okay. Now this is assigned to this. And uh, sorry. Here you see the assignment is 100%. Now if I try to assign another person, let's see, or I try to assign a user, don't want to mess it up. So here I'm putting a user. Click on user and I put student this plus So here, if you see, everything is 100%. Can I change this assignment? There is a way you can change this assignment. So let's click on this, this, and here. See, here you can do the change percentage. That's what I was talking about. In SAP, when you get stuck, you just need to <laughs> double click do something right click double click so here you can see you can change the percentage so i put the percentage as this one as 30 and i'm left with 30 more so i'll put this as 20 okay so i'm just so why you are doing it because it's based on this 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 particular position is held by multiple people and they do the job together you know uh, it's like an FT, sometimes this company have, oh, two, five resource. You will be working on this for two hours in a day. So something like that. Okay. So here we can change the percentage. So here we'll click the percentage and we'll make it pretty and we'll make it all 100. Okay. So if I now double click on it, see it adds up to 100. So this is very important. Okay, now we save it. So again, you have to save every time you are doing this. So this is something that this is how you create the arc structure. Okay, now let's let's try to add a, a business partner. Okay, so let's see. 
we have a bunch of business partner let's put this one so we added the business partner here okay so so this is so this is very important so so what we did is in this portion we created an org, org unit then we assigned a bunch of other org units so if i want to see you know and suppose you are stuck here and you want to go up the chain you can go up and it will take you to that arc structure and all those things it's pretty nice so if you suppose i go here you click on this it should so you see in the view there are no objects who create the current start object. so so here so so we created this arc arc unit and then we added a bunch of users and then we created other org units that was reporting to it. We found out how to assign chief org unit, how we, we found out how to assign multiple positions to a, to a single org unit. We checked how we can add multiple person, multiple business partner to a particular position and change their percentage. So we, uh, uh, we learned a bunch of stuff. And then we checked how to do the chief of the org unit to find who is the manager and all those things. So it was so very, very simple stuff, but very, very important. Okay. So this is everything on this transaction code. Now we are going to check the other transaction codes. So let's go here. We'll go into the PowerPoint and we'll see if it's now PPOSE. So the same thing. But in display mode, what what we are going to do is we we'll keep these things remembering. So PPOSE. So I go in PPOSE, and here, how can I search an org structure? So I think you can do like this: search term start. So search term, we just press enter. We'll try to find our Thing. okay so here is the thing IT future HR company and here you can see all all the things now this is display you can always click to change it depends upon your authorization okay so from here you can see all the all the arc structures this arc structures that we created okay uh, now here what we can do we have enabled all the fields sometimes these fields are not enabled you have to enable it okay and here i think you can line supervisor let's see what is this so oops. let's put this one so yeah there's there's stuff that you can do here and if you click on the expand node it will do all these things fancy stuff okay now here this is different now here you can search with position you can search with um, business partner and here you can see the um, you can see object history i don't know what it really shows so let's see large smallest I don't know what is this object history for doesn't show anything so okay so this is the transaction PPOAC which you will have probably now this is another important thing you can create search variant okay so let's see mm, the search variant suppose you want to find star you click on this and you click on this you test you click test okay. and now what happens is, is I go here PPOSC and So, oh, so it populates this value by default. That's nice. Uh, so this is nice for search variant. So you can create your own search variant so that every time you don't have to 
enter the same information. This is like a personal list. So that's everything on this PPOAZ transaction. Then the next one is, let's go to the PowerPoint. The next, next transaction was PPOSW. So that's related with workflow. So we can go here. Okay. And here you can see it's the same thing. Okay. But you have something called workflow template. Now, in the workflow template, what you can do is you can find all the workflow templates here. Okay, it's very, it's a very fancy way. Okay, and you can see GOS object or position. So, hmm, this is something new. So, these, these are stuffs that it's a workflow template. It doesn't give you the template number. So, let's see this one. These are obsolete. So let's see. There's some. Oops. There's some template numbers. So these are all the workflow templates you have, and the pseudo task. Let's double click on one. Does it anything? It doesn't take you to the workflow builder. But these are different workflow templates that has been designed. So framework workflow. So if you see here. Details for workflow template. So if you see set work item process, so these, so you can see all these things. So another important thing is you can see all the users here. So if I click on users, you can see all the users. And uh, now from here, you will know <coughs> this pers person. See uh, here, this person is assigned to this this particular rule, um, responsibility rule. So from here, you can know where he's assigned and all those things. So if I want, I think by default, everything is unchecked. You have to check this and you will know more information. So if you see this one, this is pretty nice. So if you see this, the rule that is assigned to for this particular user, he's assigned to this district manager also, which is his, uh, this uh, this role, this uh, this particular position. Okay, so it's pretty fancy. Now we do SAP help. We don't have anyone assigned. Now another way we can do is here. We do eleven, right? Yes, you can go up the chain like this. In this data and objects, but here, if you go by the position person, uh, I think you can go up the chain. So let's go. Let's click on this, and if you go up the chain, so here, if you see this person shows, and then the position assigned position also shows. So if I click on this, this person shows, and this is the assigned position, and this position is assigned to the arc unit. So this is pretty fancy. Uh, and this is very useful. Let's go to the workflow template again. I want to see because we didn't have anything enabled. So I want to see. Now you see all this. So these are, this is the workflow template. So this is pretty fancy. And you can see all this stuff from here. So you can see all the workflows from here. I think this is a nice place where you can find all the workflows here. Uh, this is pretty slick. Now here, standard task is something again related with SAP a workflow. Okay, so it will have probably twenty times as much task as the others. But you can see, you can double click on this, and it will be a TS and all those things. So it's pretty nice. Uh, let me see whether you can search term assigned to directly or indirectly. So add plus. What is this? So I can put add plus is mm -hmm. oh okay. So it added something more. Okay. So here you have rules. This is also nice. These are the standard rules, what is defined. So if you see we will have some custom rules. We can rules for approval. This is a nine series probably. Yes, you see this. I remember I built it in the system so it has all these rules. So the rules, if you see the org, org type is AC, the responsibility is RY, and uh, the position is S. Okay, let me show you. 
things here it's very useful things so just click find and here if i click position arc type is s for arc structure is o for job i think it's c we can search let's see so if you see the job is double clicking it's c yeah with a number a person is p very important these things user is us workflow template is ws standard task is ts task is let's find what is task task is t and task group is tg and rule is se so this is these are very important things so we covered the transaction ppOSW okay now what we are going to cover is the next one is the next one is ppOS underscore old and ppOSA okay let's do ppOS underscore old ppOS underscore old okay. so here we can put the org unit and we can search for our org unit, which is this one. Mm -hmm. And now we see the overall view. Ooh, this is nice. I like it. So here you can see all these things, user, occupied, and all those things. Now, if you click on test, what happens? Ooh, let's see, it saved its thing. Now, let's go back, hit the back button. We'll see human resource view i don't know how it is but let's see so this is the human resource view mm -hmm. uh, you can click on this so it's creating this abc analysis so let's see see here it is you see this so pretty i like it so here you see the real views based on how it looks the it future company the bank so it looks very much like a pyramid structure you see all this reporting to this this is nice i like it so if i click on the overall view and i execute and i click on this if i click on staff assignment so here you see all the staff assignment. Oh, that's nice. So here we click this. Oh, this is so nice. So you can see the whole structure here. If you see, oh, this is the marketing manager, the district manager, the future head of department. Oops, this is really nice. I love it. So this is pretty nice. So this was a hidden treasure that was there always. So that was fun okay so you can see a lot of stuff through here the graphical stuff you know hr is something that you need to see graphical now you see reporting structure okay so here the reporting structure uh, you don't have that type of view but you have the holder and it's managed by and all those things so the reporting structure was not so interesting but, but the others were good. So if you click now the conversion, the further characteristics, let's see, does he have anything? So here also required position. If I click on this, choose our unit. That's, uh, this one. So if I know. So now if I click on this, we want to see if our it's really nice i like it so detail view options so here you can see who let's see this one we'll make it bigger so here you can see view options and you can make a following mode feathered what is this view options oh. it's a uh, Details compact. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, feathered. What is feathered? 
Ooh, that's nice, really. I like it. This is really good. So you can do status oriented. Ooh, this is nice. So this is pretty, I think. Uh, yes, so this is pretty. So you can, so you, you can see you can do our art structure thing very easily and get all the, so anyone who wants to build the art structure again, and change it and all those things need to take a printout of all the wall structure don't need to create flowchart you can take it from sap and it has everything built um, so you can create your own flowchart if you have time but you know this is looking pretty if something is available in standard why not use it so this is pretty nice and i think you can use it in your presentation and other stuff now the last transaction that we are going to cover in this Portion of the tutorial is PPOSA. Okay, so this is the attribute. So what I'm going to do, I'll click on this. I love this test one where we don't have to search again things. And here you can see the attributes of organization management. You can see this key user and all those things. So this is pretty nice. Let's see the attribute. What is this attribute of things? So you can see, oh, you can put time management. So if I put time management, you see, I was talking about your public holiday calendar, grouping, personal work scheduling, and other stuff. So these these things you can do, you know, I can go into change mode, and I can put the values and all those things. So what, what happens if I put value? So if it is, oh, let's put German Hamburg. So this is the public holiday, I save it, and the Germans, so your data has been saved, the public holidays calendar is 02, so <laughs> they will be having holidays on German uh, calendar. So these are very important, people think, oh, this happens automatically, no, someone needs to do it, SAP HR does it, and the, these are very important stuff, so, so that that's that finishes this part of the tutorial in this tutorial we learn the basics we create an art structure we add it our unit to it you added position to it we made someone chief we added we found the managers then we went through all the workflows how is workflow used to those art structures we found all the workflow templates the standard tasks we knew the different art type again the art unit is O position is s user is us personal number is p rule is sc standard task is ts workflow is ws and job is c so these are the stuffs we learned then we found a beautiful transaction where you can get graphics out of the work structure and this is the last one where we created attributes the attributes we created for public holidays you can do a lot of bunch of stuffs you can do from here and again the public holidays is based upon the calendar so this is very important and uh, so this covers everything on this uh, portion of the tutorial